We've come up uh, Snaefell Mountain, actually on a very nice night, to be honest. Um, but with us, we're talking about uh, the Alban Search and Rescue Dogs. Uh, Malcolm's with us from the group. And the full name is? Sada Search and Rescue Dogs Association, Isle of Man. Fantastic. Now, you do um, this sort of training quite often, I believe. Yeah, we come out every Tuesday evening. Um, usually, you start about 7 o'clock, finish 9, 9.30. That's good because it's dark in winter, mm -hmm. and we need to train in the dark. And then we train every Sunday, Sunday mornings. Uh, we choose different locations around the island. And this is completely voluntary, is it? Yep, we're totally a voluntary organisation paid for by donations. What sort of dog makes a good search and rescue dog? Well, most of our dogs are collies. Uh -huh. They're working dogs, so um, a, li a little bit like sheep dogs. They, they have that long ebity and the, the intelligence to learn how to search. But there's no particular reason why a search dog has to be a collie. Uh, German Shepherds, also quite popular. So what have you been called on? Is it, is it, is it in bad weather or just misty conditions or, you know, what happens? Right, why do people go missing? Yeah. I mean, they go missing for all sorts of reasons. And uh, it can be... Uh, walkers out who get lost obviously in the hills or it could be um, uh, uh, an elderly person who's walked out of their house and got confused mm. um, or a young teenager maybe run away from a home I mean there's endless reasons why people go missing but we always work directly for the police they call us and then we go and help them search for people yeah, because I mean, these days everyone's got GPS, haven't they? I mean, to, to, for your point of view, so at least you know where you are, even if it's thick fog these days, that, that must help. Yes, that's right. I mean, <laughs> GPS has made a big difference t to us. It makes our job a lot easier as a search team. But of course, not everybody has GPS on mm. them, so not everybody else knows where they are all the time. So the dogs, are they trained to find people or, or sniff for what? I mean, yeah, the dogs are trained to find people. I mean, they're actually trained to find people who are still alive, uh, which is quite important. Um, uh, yeah, basically, we, we'll search any area. I mean, it could be... Today we're out on the hill, but uh, next week we might, we might be training in a... Thank you. <laughs> we're on the TT course. <laughs> yeah. Next week we may be training um, down in one of the plantations, where, which can be very dense... Very difficult to search without a dog, actually. Very difficult to um, get through physically for a human being. So um, the search dogs are fantastic, particularly in low visibility or at night time when you can't use your eyes. And are you always looking for other people to volunteer and help with you? Yeah, we always need people to act as what we call dog's bodies, which are people to go out and go out and we will come and find you. I love that. So they really are dog's bodies. They really sense. are dog's but They are bodies yeah. that the dogs look for. Um, we really need more people because um, it's always nice for the dogs to have somebody new, a fresh smell to come and look for. Well, all details uh, are here on the screen. And, uh, well, I say, this is a not bad night. I bet you've been out in a few worse than this, though. Oh, this is fantastic. <laughs> yes, this is a really nice day today. Probably not the worst, best day for training, ironically. It's better if it's a little bit grim. And I've got some pictures here of a bit of press being taken. You're getting a few pictures in the paper. What's this about? Oh, right, OK. We've got... Um, we, uh, one of our volunteers is, um, works for... Um, or raises, is raising money for us by selling um, a, a special edition whiskey, very rare whiskey. I believe it's a one-of-a-kind, and he's going to be auctioning it, and all the money is going to go to us. So. With £300, I believe, as well, isn't it? <laughs> we're, or more, more or I'm told, it could be £400. So, uh, yeah, we're really happy about that because, as a voluntary organisation, we rely entirely on donations. And uh, this is great. It's fantastic for us. And I should I ask you, success rates? I mean, success stories? Yeah, we've had, um, we've had a couple of finds. We had one last year, yeah. yeah.